Welcome Algebra 1 students. This is our critical skills assessment review video. This is actually not going to take long. What I'm going to do instead of actually doing a whole bunch of math here is we're going to be talking about what you can do to study for your CSA. So I'm going to give you IXL skills. Now when it comes to Khan Academy skills, Khan Academy skills, the best thing for you to do to find Khan Academy skills, so for Khan Academy I want you to use your search function. So use the search function. You know what a search function looks like. It's a little magnifying glass. Looks like that. Type in the appropriate keywords. If you don't find something you're looking for, send me an email. I'll help you find it. But with regard to IXL skills, that we can do. We can actually go ahead and put those in here. No problem. So I'm going to do that in purple. All right, so translate verbal expressions into algebraic expressions and model real-world situation with algebraic expressions. That's really your writing expressions, that's going to be I.1 and I.3. So if you need work translating expressions, that's where you're going to go. Evaluating expressions, that's going to be B3 and B7. B3 and B7. So these two right here, that's going to be B.3 and B.7. That should be a B. You can find a great deal of that kind of thing in Khan Academy as well. Just remember to use your search function. Moving on, SOL 8.4, we're looking at our literal equations. That's something that you're going to want to probably look at looking at your graded work. Okay, if you look at your graded work, you can use your um, uh, graded tests and quizzes for that. You could also, if you look at um, the PDF that I sent for you when it, we had test time, I gave you a PDF of extra practice for that that you can also use. Okay, so graded work and extra practice, PDF. If you do not remember what that was, send me an email. I will send it to you. So if you know you need practice with literal equations, that's where you're going to go. For properties, for identifying properties, there's a um, couple, H1 uh, through 4. So for properties, right here, that's going to be H.1. That's an I, not an H. Do, 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 just kidding. H1 through H4, and it's all four of those, give you your properties. So you're using properties to simplify expressions, identifying properties, and so on. Okay, going back up. Um, actually, for me, it's going back up because this um, properties right here is actually 8.4, A.4B, and then there's 8.41, which is all of our um, solving equations section. So you're going to have multi-step linear equations and real-world prob problems involving equations. So your multi-step linear equations, you want to look at J.567 through 7. And then for word problems, you want to be looking at J. Point, where are you? I see you. J.8. J.8. And then finally, multi-step linear inequalities. Inequalities in one variable. That's 8.5. Well, there's again, there's quite a few of those. Start with um, graphing inequalities. You can be K.1. If you're looking for one-step inequalities, that's going to be 4 and 5. So K.4 and 5. And if you're looking for multi-step inequalities uh, and k.6 sorry if you're looking for multi-step inequalities I apologize for the delay it's 8 and 9 so basically your whole k menu um, I do want you to notice that we do not have to learn how to solve a compound inequality you can learn about it if you want as extra but you won't see them on your um, CSA and that actually covers all of the skills that are listed here so let's just have a brief chat about what else you can do to study and prepare. Okay, if you go in and you look in the grade book in Power School, you will see that there are some assignments where if you check the descriptions, you can correct these assignments. Now, while I tell you about this in class, we all know that we don't um, always hear it when the teacher is giving an explanation. If you have permission to correct something, it's my advice that you correct it. It's a learning experience. Um, it's also a chance in some cases to get better points. And both of those are good things. Okay, that's one thing to do. 
And then the other thing is missing work. I take missing work. I take it indefinitely. It may not get 100, but if you've got an assignment that's not done and you have a copy of it, you might as well get it done. The more you practice math, the better prepared you will be. So this was a brief little video. Now it's time to break out that IXL or Khan Academy and get practicing. If you decide that you want to ask me for Khan Academy topics, send me an email and I will respond. I will get you what you need. Okay, Pretty painless, right? Right. Make sure you get that time and prepare for that CSA. See you guys in class.